So this is my phone and it's an iPhone 5S and it has a black case on with a sticker from Isco Exo. So when you open up my phone, you can see my lock screen which is a photo of Changyol from the Temple Teaser. Then when you unlock it, you can see this photo of Baekhyun from the Temple Teaser as well. So as you can see, I only have two pages and on the bottom bar, I have Spotify. And this is what I use to listen to music since I don't really use Apple Music. Then I have Safari and I use Safari for reading fanfics from Asian fanfics. Then moving on to the applications above, I have camera and I use that for taking photos for my Instagram. Then I have the clock app and I use that to set up alarms whenever I need to wake up early for school. Then I have the notes app and I mainly use this for keeping track of the things that I bought. Then I have iBooks and I use this for reading fanfics as well, but mainly from Archive of Our Own and Live Journal. Then those are just the apps that I use from the front page. So moving on to the next page, I actually categorize most of the apps into folders so that it will be easier for me to navigate. And on the first folder, I have the SNS apps. First, I have Facebook and Messenger, and I mainly use those for communicating with my personal friends, family, and school-related stuff. Then I have Twitter, which is my favorite app because I use this to communicate with my fellow XOLs worldwide, and I use this to keep myself updated with EXO schedules, and I also order a lot from group orders from this app. Then I have Instagram. And I usually post a lot of doll photos, journal photos, and merchandise photos on Instagram. You can follow me here at Anyongs. And I also have a personal account which is Sadie Way. But make sure to look out for my Anyongs account because I will be posting a giveaway. Then I have Tumblr and I just mainly use this for looking up some fanfics if I feel like I'm running out of fanfics to read. Then I have the Snow app which I use for taking selfies or adding cute filters. Then I have Pinterest and I use this for looking up some inspirations for outfits and designs and if I'm looking for cute wallpapers and lock screens. Then on the next folder I have Entertain, I have YouTube which is pretty self-explanatory then I have the only independent game that I have and it's called Two Fuse and I actually got addicted to this game but I don't really play it that much nowadays but I only have it just in case that I get bored whenever I travel then I have Oppa Dog which is not really a game but it's a cute app and you can make your own characters as you can see I tried making all of the EXO members but I failed because I got lazy then I have Henyo Trainer which is like Pinoy Henyo if you're Filipino and you know that game and I play this game whenever I am bored with my friends. Then I have Charades which is the free version of the heads up game and I also play this with my friends whenever we are bored and it's like more international so you can like play this with a variety of friends. Then I have the editing folder and I'm going to be showing you the apps that I use for Instagram. So first I have Snapseed and Snapseed is my OG editing app. I use this to edit um, the photos that I took from my camera to change the lighting, the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, and all of those good stuff. So after doing that, I just export it onto my phone. Then the next app that I use is Fonto, which most of you guys know already. I just use this for adding text on my photos. Then I have font for adding text on my videos. I both use them mainly for fan thumbs. Then I have Foodie, which is an app that I use after exporting a photo from Snapseed. 
I add a filter using this app. For example, this photo that I took yesterday, and I will just add the filter GI2, which adds a pinkish hue to my photos, and after that, I just save it and then upload to Instagram. Then the next app is called Huji, and it's like the free version of Kodak. I don't really use it anymore, and I just used to take photos of my notes using that app. Then I have Square Fit which is the app that I used for editing some of my fan cams before uploading it onto IG stories but um, I just knew that whenever I export something from this app it makes the quality of the video um, lower so I tend to not use this anymore because I want my videos to be clearer then I have line camera and I just use this mainly for the stickers so, for example, um, I have here a photo of Komini and I'll just add a little blush so that it will make him look cuter. Then I have InstaSize and I just knew about this app and it's really cool because you can edit both videos and both photos at the same time. So for example, is this clip that I took from NBC and I'll just add some filters. You can see there are a lot of filters that you could choose from, especially if you're on premium. You can like have a variety of filters. And what I also like about this app is that you can change the brightness, the exposure, the contrast, which is not common for a lot of video editing apps. And you can also add some borders and some text. And I really like text. It's sometimes very minimal. And you can actually use this if you want to upload videos onto YouTube but you don't have a good editing software on your laptop. So if you are interested on having this app and if you want to try the full version of it, you can like click the link on the description box and on the screen right now. If you click the link, you will have an access to the free trial because I am actually affiliated with InstaSize. Then make sure to look up for this photo on my Instagram account because I will be giving away three free premium accounts for three of my followers with partnership with InstaSize. All of the details and rules will be under the description box and on the photo itself. So last app is called iMovie and I use iMovie for compiling all of the videos and then for adding music and etc. So the next folder is my transportation folder. So first I have the Grab app which is pretty self-explanatory. I use this for transportation and for food delivery then I have Sakai.ph so if you're like me who are not really good at commuting you can like type in your location and where you want to go and it will provide you all of the possible um, vehicles or routes that you could like try and it will provide you as well the amount and money you could spend then I have Google Earth which is an app that I use if I want to see the street view because I'm not really street smart and I tend to be curious on the place before I go so I tend to like see or check the street view and then I have Google Maps which is pretty self-explanatory then I have the K-pop folder and I have the white app I use the white app to connect my phone to my elastic so that it will change colors then I have the XOL app and I mainly use this whenever there are concerts. Sometimes we need to show our XL card to um, get some freebies or to purchase some items, etc. Then I have Melon, mainly for streaming. Then I have BeLive. I used to um, uninstall this app, but when XL did a comeback, I reinstalled it because they do BeLive sometimes time in some segments. Then next, I have YT. I have Gmail mainly for business and school purposes and YT Studio for keeping track of my stats and your comments. Then next folder I have the school folder 
first they have the Bravo Little Dictionary, mainly for checking up some Korean words that I'm not familiar with. Then I have the Papago Translator. I trust this more than Google Translate, but I mainly just use this for um, translating Korean to English and vice versa. Then I have the Mirai and Webster for looking up some words, Google Drive for school files, Mathway if I need help for my calculus homeworks, Schoology is something that we need for school. Then I have Cam Scanner and I use this for taking photos of my handouts and turning them into PDF files. Then lastly I have documents for downloading videos and music directly on my phone from the browser. Then lastly, I have the Gas Plus folder, which means spending, because I have the PPI mobile, and I use this mainly for banking. Then I have Send Mobile for shipping out some stuff. Then I have Shopee. So Shopee is an app that I use whenever I need to buy cheap items. I could also buy some stationery here, some doll clothes. Then the last app is called Carousel. It's like a second-hand selling shop. I got my white gummy from this app. You can see a lot of like rare um, fine goods from this app as well. So those are the things inside my phone. I hope you guys are not super bored. And make sure to check out my Instagram because I'll be having a giveaway. So yeah.